Hello everybody. It's Elijah Keating from WisdomSeekers.net. Go look us up, please. It would be a, it would be awesome for for us. It is also what else? It's also the energy from the third to the ninth of January 2019th, the first full week of the year. And uh, well, let's just start out. The first card is Dreams Come True. And you can see that it's the galaxy being held in, ha in hands glow that have energy in them. And it's a, there's a also energy being shot through the galaxy. So obviously it's a, it's a very positive card when dreams are coming true. So this is this week, the first week of the first full week of January 2019 starts seems to be starting out in a very positive manner. Let's see what else we have here. And the first card is the Knight, the Knight of Wands. And the Knight of Wands as an energy is wise, a wise energy rising up to the surface. Old energy, but for long forgotten, but, but you're beginning to remember it. There's a lot of wisdom there. If it's not, then it happens to be, in your, your particular case, a young person. They're a little bit flighty still. They haven't settled down to to gaining the knowledge, but they will eventually be very wise people. Doesn't mean that in the meantime they're not full of beans. Uh, but it, generally speaking, it would be the it, wisdom rising to the surface. Six of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles is a card of coming together. It can be coming together within yourself, which is very, very, very positive, or your community, or or business, business, or things like that. Things are coming together in a very positive way, and it has side effects that are beneficial. Buddy, touch wood. And what's behind us? The two two of swords. The two of swords is a card of courage, a great deal of courage. Can you imagine walking a tightrope over, if you've made a misstep, certain death? But it's a lot of courage, but it's also a card of moving forward in balance. Be sure that you know where you want to go, and uh, with that kind of courage, you will make it. You will, you will become what, you will be, develop the courage. And the Five of Wands. The Five of Wands is a card of it's not truly arguing and fighting and things like that. It's showing that you're capable of standing up for yourself. Is that good or bad? Of course it's good. Because as long as, as we live, we do not want others to manage or control our lives. We want to be the ones that are the deciders. <laughs> because we are the only ones who are truly responsible for our lives, unless you're under five years old. And then, then your parents have have decision. And in that, legally, it goes even farther. But what's in front of us for this week? This is very positive. It's uh, three, three of three of cups. It's a celebration. Well, I can tell you on the 10th, my daughter's going to have a birthday, so we're going to be celebrating. So the, the Three of Cups is a positive card, card of joy and, and uh, true celebration. Oh, why not? We've worked so hard the last few years. Why not celebrate? And I know we've just done a whole lot of celebrating. But it seems this is a positive week, and I'm... I'm not going to argue with it. I'm not going to argue with the cards. So what's in front of us? It's the Knight of Cups. And the Knight of Cups is our being on cloud nine, extremely happy. It is also the wish card. So make a wish. This is your week. Make a wish. Make it grandiose. So what else? The Chariot. The, the chariot has a has a similarity to the two of swords. It's a, also a card of big imbalance, but it's a mass major arcana, so it's a bit more oomph to it. 
It's also going forward, forward to, uh, in the way that uh, you're comfortable with and maintaining that forward movement. The big thing is that you do it in balance. You do it knowing that it's the right way to go. Uh, and after that, I don't know why we get that because it doesn't really match. It is the hangman. So be patient. Things are happening behind the scenes that we're not completely aware of. So if you're waiting for things to happen this week, not likely to happen as fast as you want, so be patient, but things will happen. And the fact that we pulled the hangman suggests that it will be a card of, that it does suggest that we will receive what we're looking for. And that's it. The rest of the card, the other cards doesn't fit in with the reading. So what does it say? It says to take the lead. So this is a week for all of us and people who are watching this are are all spiritual leaders. You don't you don't watch spiritual stuff right now with unless you are a spiritual leader. So dreams are coming true, but they're coming true because we're choosing to make take the lead. Be proactive, stay in balance. Enjoy enjoy your life. Look after that which is yours. Allow the wisdom to surface. And things will come together in a very positive, proactive way. And again, make a wish. With that, I'm going to say, Namaste.